Great. How are you? Awake. Well, well, that's enough to celebrate. There we go. I love Champions. I feel like the film had the equal drama, comedy, and heart. Yeah. What was it script that made you want to be Julio? Uh, you know, it was a chance to be in Winnipeg in December, you know, because who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was a chance to work, work with Woody, who I'd worked with before, and I, I thought we could work together in this film. And, and Bobby Fairley, because I was a big Fairley Brothers uh, uh, a fan of their movies. And, and, and to be involved in this particular scene about this, these, these, uh, 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 these actors that, that, that were, were not professional actors and to see if that, they could actually even play basketball, you know, so that was all the big wonders when we started filming and, and all those all those questions were answered in spectacular fashion, you know, they, were, they could do everything. When your character Julio pretty much plays, you know, he runs the nonprofit recreation center. Yeah. But I feel like he also plays the coach for yeah. Marcus, played by Woody. So I love those scenes that were taking place in Julio's office. Can you talk about them? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, he was there on the, because he was sentenced to be there. In the original script, the, the, the judge that sent him, sentences him is, is my niece, actually. I don't think it's revealed in the movie, but... And so he, so uh, I, I'm used to these characters kind of coming through. They're in there for... They're like, they're like foster coaches. You know, they, they come through for really quickly. So I, I've seen every excuse they... Or heard every excuse they've had for not fulfilling their, their duties. But... Uh, uh, that was going to be a challenge, but it was, it w it was good, you know, kind of urging somebody who is reluctant into kind of seeing the, the the beauty of being able to accomplish what what he did accomplish, uh, as far as a coach. I personally think it's also for the viewers um, learning lessons because Julio says some wise words of wisdom. Well, he's a wise guy, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, he uh, words of wisdom learned from experience, you know. He's been working with these kids a long time. You know, he knows their little quirks and he, and and to him they are completely normal, you know, completely normal. And so he just proceeds on that on that uh, basis, you know. And then that, that's and that that really endure in, endears him to all the all the kids and all the the families he has to work with. Uh, because he doesn't treat them as anything different. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. I got to speak to you for the war with Grandpa. Yeah, okay. And now for this, you keep busy. Will we be seeing a Cheech and Chong project in the future? You just may. You just may. We're kind of working on one now. We'll see how that comes out. Looking forward to it. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.